Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. For today's lunch I'm going to be cooking chicken with carrots and potatoes. So let's begin. Okay then, so I'm going to start off by getting a two, uh, three garlic cloves and I'll just cut them up. I'm going to cut them up into slices, thickish slices today. These are quite nice, these garlics. This garlic, not garlics, garlic cloves. Right, let's put this in the bin. So let's slice these up. I do like my garlic, and it's good for the old heart, isn't it? That's what the doctors say, anyway. Right, so the garlic is there. Just leave it there to that side. And now I'm going to peel the carrots. I don't usually use these peelers. I usually do it by, you know, just with a knife. But seeing that I bought this, might as well use it. After I've done the three carrots, I'll cut them up. I don't have to cut them up into slices, into wheels, or I have to cut them in, like, long pieces I'll probably decide at the last minute right so the carrots are done wait a minute I'm gonna put the the garlic on here and I've just chucked this away in the bin. Right, so let's cut this up. So I'm gonna cut them up lengthways and halves. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously, you can cut them however you like. How are you going to cut them yours? Let me know. Leave a comment. Are you going to cut them like this? Or are you going to cut them like that into wheels? Comment below. Right, so these are done. Let's put these on this plate as well. Gonna eat that one. I do like cold, rim cold, raw carrots. When I was younger, when I was raised in Galicia, I used to go to the to where my grandparents used to grow all their vegetables, and just pull out the. The small carrots from the ground, wash them on the stream, and eat them. And the same with the green peas, they're gorgeous. Right, so the next step is I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna slice these potatoes and I'm going to. Um, cut them up into small cubes smallish cubes sort of like the ones that I use I fry like fried that like I use for fried potatoes you know 
chuck that in the sink and give it a wash. Whoa! I'm cutting too much, peeling too much here. Should have used the potato peeler. <laughs> right, so I'm going to wash these up. Right, let's get the proper knife out. And we'll cut them up. Wait. Like that more or less. This knife does cut well. Too well sometimes. Right, last one. And then potatoes, as I'm not going to be adding them to this stew, sort of stew. Not yet anyway. I'll add them later, of course. Well, what I'll do is um, just cover them with cold water. Like this. So that they won't go yellow. Well, yellow. Black, I mean. Brown. Okay, the chicken that I'm using today, basically, it's one um, whole chicken thigh, which I've cut up into... Well, the, the actual leg is whole, and I've skinned them, and the other bit I've cut into two pieces, I think, and it's also got a bit of a, a wing here, and a whole chicken breast as well, with the wing, that's the wing. You don't get wings on the thighs, do you? Well, that's what I'm going to be cooking anyway. So, let's move on to the next step, and... Cheers everyone. So the next step will be to turn this stove on. I'm going to turn it up to number seven. And because it's chicken, I've learned from the past that I should add only a little bit of olive oil. So about a, tea, a tablespoon of olive oil. And we'll wait for that to heat up. I'm only adding one tablespoon because from what I've learned from the past is that the less oil that you add, the less the chicken uh, jumps about, you know. And I've got my garlic here. I had the carrots there, but I decided to put the carrots with the potatoes in with the water. So let's wait for this to heat up nicely. And today I'll be using this. I had it hidden in the cupboard for so so long. I haven't used it for ages. I keep forgetting that I've got it. So that should be handy to keep the splashing off. Okay, so once this is hot or hotish, you can see it spreads all about quite easily. I'll add the chicken. It's going to be fun. Well, it's still not hot. Hot, hot, if you know what I mean. But it'll do. So we'll add all these nice pieces of um, chicken. These chicken breasts were massive. Right, I'm going to turn this up slightly up to number 8 instead of the 7. And what I'll do is just slightly salt it. I'm not going to use a lot of salt yet because I'm going to be adding the, you know, the stock cube later on. 
and this is a new one that I bought in Lidl a couple of days ago and I'm not sure how much salt they have. I also had some pepper, multicoloured pepper and basically I'm going to fry this so that and I'll turn it over in about well, five minutes or so and I just want to make it all golden brown basically so I'll be back. Right, so let's turn this over. It's not doing too bad with the splashing. I haven't had to use the that special net lid. So we'll see how it goes. I'll be adding the garlic in a minute. I won't forget it. Don't you worry. And I'm just going to turn down this a notch to number seven. Usual cooking position. Well, I think I'm going to put the hood on. Because this is starting to go bang and explode. And everything. Well, let's have a look at this. Whee. Ah, that was hot. So this is, obviously it's not, you know, it's not cooked inside. Quite obvious, isn't it? So I'm just going to turn this over a little bit. Try to get as much as possible brown. And... I'll add the bit of garlic there and get that nice and browned up also. There's a lot of chicken here, I think, for two. There might be leftovers, which is always good. So let's get this. I think I'm going to leave it here for about five minutes. And then I'm going to add the sweet paprika. The I'm, I'm going to add the I've got a chicken vegetable cube, chicken vegetable, a chicken cube. It's got cube. I think it's got vegetables in it also. Some yellow food colours to give it that nice yellow colour, and a nice glass of wine and some water. So let's wait for this to sort itself out. Well, this seems to be done for the garlic. It's done as best as I can anyway. And what I'm going to do next, um, I don't know really. Yeah. Let's, um, oh, you can tell I'm making this up on the go, can't you? I, I had a few ideas, and none of them seem good at this time. So what I'm going to do, right, sod it. I'm going to take the, just the chicken out. I leave the garlic there. I just put the chicken. Look at that. Yummy yum. I just put the, leave the chicken there. Um, going to add a little bit of water to that. I move that about like that. Just clean it up a bit. So the next step, this um, stock cube. Oh, this is hard. Not the normal ones that I buy. I haven't bought these for ages. Hopefully it'll crumble. Yeah, sorted. Nice. It's not sticky like the other ones that I've been using. Right. So that's there. I'm also going to add a teaspoon 
of paprika. I put some water on there before because I didn't want it to everything to bend. Like that for example, a bit more. Or else it'll just burn, you know. And I'm gonna chuck in some yellow food colourant. I could add these saffron, but save that for a paella or paella. Let's add a bit of this, about half a teaspoon. Just to give it that nice colour, you know, that I like. And I'm going to add a little bit more water just to mix it all about. And now I'll chuck in the chicken back in and any juice. I hope you can pair it properly and not the extractor fan too much, you know. I've only got it on number two, so hopefully it should be okay. You should hear me well. Look at that. Nice yellow colour already. Love that yellow colour, my food. That looks better like that, doesn't it? That's a lot of bone. That's for my darling wife, she loves bones. And next, I'm going to add the wine. Glass of wine. And I'm going to turn the heat right up, cover it up, leaving a little gap, just in case it decides to overflow. You never know with these things, do you? And I'll leave it there for about five minutes or so until the alcohol evaporates. You'll know when the alcohol is evaporated because you have a whiff, and if it doesn't knock you down, it means... That it's it's ready that the alcohol is being burnt unfortunately so let's wait for that to be sorted shall we and I'm gonna put the spoon here or here because I want to have a salt chick just in case okay so have a whiff hasn't knocked me down which means that the alcohol has evaporated oh it smells nice very nice indeed. So now I'm going to chuck in the carrots and potatoes. Hope it all fits in. I do like these one pot meals. So much easier, aren't they? So let's try and spread these about as evenly as possible, you know. Well, that'll do. And next I'm going to add the water. Which that should do. Yeah. Half a litre of water, which will cover everything up. Maybe I should have done it in a pot, in a deeper pot. I don't know. And we'll leave it on number nine so that it boils up quicker, you know. And once it starts boiling up, I'll have a salt chick. I'll be back. Okay, that doesn't take long to start to, to boil. So let's have a salt chick. I'm curious to see if them stock cubes are salty or not. Mmm. With the amount of salt that I added to the chicken, which wasn't that much, and the salt that the stock cube have, I think it's just about right. So, this, I'm not sure if to cover it up or not. Um, I could cover it, cover it up and leave a slight gap. But I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Mm, I'm not sure. Sod it. I'm going to cover it up. And today, instead of leaving it on number 7, like I usually do, um, I'm going to leave it on number 9. For at least 10 minutes, I'll let you know in a while. Okay, so it's been here boiling on full whack for 15 minutes. It's looking good. Let's see. The potatoes, obviously, are still hard. They're al dente hard. 
the carrots, they are a bit harder. Maybe I should have added them first. I forgot. But you won't. So what I'm going to do is um, I'll turn it down to number seven and just leave it there for about 15 minutes and it should be done. So it's 25 minutes roughly. <clears throat> okay, so time's up. I think that was 15 minutes and this looks Huh. I'm lost for words, mate. Awesome. So what I'll do is turn the everything off. And I'll just leave it there for five minutes so that it stops bubbling. And then I'll serve it up here on this nice, typical Spanish tapas dish for the thumbnail and to show you what it looks like well so here is today's delicious lunch chicken with carrots and potatoes I really hope that you enjoyed today's video please give me a like if you did so please share this recipe if you enjoy it it will help me out a lot and I look forward to making my next recipe very soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.